All right, everybody, it's Ashley here. Welcome back for another new nostalgic time. I know it's been a bit, but we got something here for you that you probably have never heard about. Although there may be a few of you that actually go like, oh my God, I played it. This is from 1975 from Parker Brothers. I found it brand new in the box, so that was pretty cool. And it wasn't expensive at all. I think I got it for like 20 bucks. So you can find these definitely, you know, some thrift stores, eBay for sure. But this here, of course, is Lost Gold. And basically, when I tried it out, you know, this game itself is like a version of Battleship in a way. It really is. Because you're hiding these little gold pieces, which are magnetic. Can you flip them? Yep. So you hide these little gold pieces underneath these. And these lift up. And the pieces I've, you see, I've hidden a few pieces here. They actually hide under the board. And basically, you take your turn to try to find the pieces, and you have this little, little, bitty, bitty gold finder. It's easy move from the felt to the bottom, and it starts pretty easily. When you flip it, you have it on the gray, but of course, if it finds something, for example, that's how it's on gray, underneath, we'll get it just right. If I get this magnet just right, it now goes red. So basically, yeah, you're going to move it along until it stops on the spot. And of course, you know, you chart it. And then you take your turn rolling the dice to try to get to that spot and hope that you had it right. But of course, with this being able to pick up the magnet, it's pretty easy for it. But I thought it was overall a pretty cute little thing. And even the directions were kind of cool because it even has a comic book story in here. So it tells about the legend of the Lost Golden Coyote Cannon. And look! A little bitty comic book. It's a little one. So pretty good shape. Holding out pretty good. And what's even neat, of course, the advertisements. So if you remember some of these toys, you have different little games in the back. And Nerf. Yes! I thought Nerf was like 1990s, but I was so wrong. They came out way before it. And of course, for any additional setup, you'll find them on the little cardboard tray. But our net and this helps with, you know, cleaning, basically like the fuzzies off this is a little cute piece but there you have it guys this is lost gold from 1975 from parker brothers very easy to set up very easy to play you can find it on ebay and there's not a whole lot of pieces to lose and your little marking board of course has plenty of pads so this makes it even better but definitely check it out guys you can go find it on ebay and check out a lot more i've got more nostalgic time coming up for you i know we had a lot going on there's also, of course, tons of episodes of them as well on YouTube and tons more stuff, even with American Girl Doll film stuff coming up and so much more. And if you love to follow along the video game recordings of all kinds of indie games, check me out on YouTube. I've got a ton of them. I've got over 400 videos, including over 70 of video games alone. So until next time, guys, of course, don't forget to follow along. And I thank you, as always, for liking and subscribing. And remember, this is Lost Gold from Parker Brothers 1975. And until later, guys, I will see you later.